Valve announcements, SteamOS, Steam Machines, iOS 7, Peachy Printer, and What the Tech. <laughs> As it was teased last week, I said it last week. Valve is coming, coming to Linux. What I wasn't expecting was three secret announcements this week. I only know two of them because the third is probably hitting the news as this episode is airing. Well, hey, I think it's either Half-Life 3 or a game controller. I have a feeling most people want it to be Half-Life 3. Tuesday, we got the announcement of SteamOS hitting your living rooms. According to Valve, SteamOS combines the rock-solid architecture of Linux with a gaming experience built for the big screen. Big picture, it is called. Let me just tell you something. If you don't love Steam, the only reason possible is that you haven't used it yet. Loser. In Steam, you find 50 million of your closest friends. You can trade, go to workshops, the sales. Dude, you can find games for like $7.99 sometimes, and then like, it'll be a sale of the day, but then that sale will come back, and it's awesome. It's really cool. What could be better? An operating system. Sometimes you want to kick it in the living room, but you don't want to leave your friends behind, do you? Give up all your favorite games? The SteamOS is a Linux-based system designed just for living room PC, and it's built around the Steam service itself. That way you have nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Thing. Everything you're used to is there. Any place you can run Steam, you can run Big Picture. And play to your own comfort zone with a keyboard and mouse or controllers or type with a game controller. Plus... Plus a web browser for the TV that doesn't suck. Do you realize what this means? Competition. You better believe game developers are quickly targeting SteamOS for new releases. The forthcoming next-gen consoles from Sony and Microsoft have a new contender to deal with. Especially when bringing up item number two, Steam Machines. Is your body ready? Valve is partnering with various companies to release hardware they will call the Steam Box. No, not the Steam Box. Steam Machines. Designed to play games on your TV. Beta testing is starting this year, and surprisingly, details are still vague. One thing is certain, there will be multiple pieces of hardware made by different manufacturers. Big deal for Valve, they're traditionally software. Also, you will be able to run multiple operating systems on the Steam machines, and it'll be hackable. Via Valve, I pulled some Q&As that I wanted answers to and thought maybe you guys would as well. For some reason, I want to do these in different voices. So I'm gonna do that, okay? When can I buy one? Well, child, beginning in 2014, multiple to choose from for multiple manufacturers. I'm pretty happy with my PC gaming setup. Do I have to buy a new piece of hardware now? What was that? No, everything that we've been doing on Steam for the past 10 years will continue to move forward. If you guys are delivering an OS to hardware manufacturers, why is Valve also making its own box? We're conducting a beta of the overall Steam living room experience, so we needed to build a prototype hardware to run tests. The specific machine we're testing is designed for users who want the most control over their hardware. That was really awkward. My favorite. Will I be able to build my own box to run Steam OS? Yes. Finally, what games will be available during the beta? The nearly 3,000 games on Steam. Hundreds already running natively on SteamOS, with more to come very soon. And now it's time for... What the tech? Haha, <laughs> Goron Tablet Cushion. If you're like me and your true mission in life is to lay down constantly, now you can while you play on your machines. Those habits of being on your tablet or phone constantly can get a little uncomfortable when you end up like laying on your side in some completely unnatural looking position. I do it all the time. Daria. I'm totally comfortable, just let me play Candy Crush. So why not lay in any position you want while your tablet is up? Revealed at the Tokyo Game Show, the Goron tablet cushion could be the perfect present for your laziest of loved ones. Perfect present for $200. Oh god. Firecase is a case that turns your phone into a lighter. 
Works much like a cigarette lighter you would find in a car, but it's attached to the back of your phone. It's really just a lighter for cigarettes. I mean, the entire video just shows people lighting it up with their smartphone. I can think of far too many ways this is both kind of disgusting and really unsafe. They say it heats instantaneously when the cover of it is opened. The flying squirrel, so cute. They don't actually fly. Actually, the only mammal that flies is a bat. These guys glide, or fall with style, some would say. So elegant. But some humans, oh my god, don't do that. Squirrel wingsuits, as they call them, are for, yes, gliding like a flying squirrel man. Not just with the right amount of guts, but the perfect gear. Said to be suitable for flying and soaring, and quote, no plummeting to certain death, probably. This is still kind of what the tech, but it's kind of more what the iOS. <laughs> I really did that lame thing on purpose. At least some of 200 million people that have downloaded iOS 7 to this point aren't so pleased with what they've found. Apple's iPhone and iPad owners have been taking to the company's forums over the past week to complain about iOS 7's new parallax and zoom features. Many of the folks in the forums say that they've experienced motion sickness, vertigo, nausea, and headaches due to the motion on screen. I guess talk to your friends with Android and ask them how they deal with this awful dilemma. Another dilemma recently happened. This one's kind of big and not limited to iOS 7. Ever since kicking Google Maps to the curb as its default mapping app, Apple has been doing everything it can to create a capable replacement with less than stellar results so far. Bad, bad stuff. Twice in the past three weeks, the following has happened. Alaskan drivers have made dangerous detours down an airport runway at Fairbanks International Airport after being given bad directions by their iPhones. I'm not meaning to laugh. After the Fairbanks Airport became aware of the first incident, the staff asked Apple to disable directions around the area entirely until the problem was solved Two weeks later, the problem had not been resolved and the directions had not been disabled. So a second driver managed to stumble onto the runway. Good going Apple. And also, as of Wednesday, Apple has still not fixed the directions, so Fairbanks has had to resort to barricading the entrance ramp. Peachy is a photolithographic base printer. It's open source hardware and software. Creator Ryan Grayston from Canada truly rethought how a 3D printer could be made. This guy's smart. Not only does it look different, the process involves salt-based water and a powerful laser beam acting to create a mold. First, a 3D model must be designed via free Blender software. Then Peachy's plugin assesses the model and converts it into audio waveform. With just a standard stereo audio cable, the headphone port on your computer will transfer the signal to Peachy. According to the creator, this waveform drives a pair of electromagnetic mirrors. The higher the volume, the higher the voltage, the more the mirrors move. The reflection that occurs manipulates the path of the laser. That audio waveform you have converted will then drive these mirrors, allowing the laser beam to ultimately draw out the shape of the object. Additionally, the entire method relies on your computer microphone port to listen for and count each and every drip. That way, it will stop the process as soon as the model is complete. All sounding like science fiction, isn't it almost beautiful to watch the way this works? In the video description below, I have placed a link to the YouTube video so you can blow your own mind off your face. So your face can melt off your own face. So your face can melt off your head. So you'll be blown away. So you'll like it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If it is Half-Life 3 that's announced, then go everyone that loves that game. How does everyone feel about iOS 7? I love it because it makes my old iPhone 4 look new. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated by me because I love my show and when others love it too, it makes me love it even more.